Hello friends, welcome to Knowledge India. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about S3 bucket policies in detail. And we will go ahead and do a demo where we'll try to see that how we can set up bucket policy for a particular S3 bucket and how does it work, right? So let us go ahead and get started. So in this particular demo, I'm going to use two different AWS accounts. So as you can see in this particular window, I am logged into my account number one, where you can see there is a bucket called California 10 DEC. And this is my another AWS account, which I have logged in into another browser here. Uh, you know, this is a completely different AWS account. And here I've got few other S3 buckets. You can see that I do not have California 10 DEC in this particular account, right? So you know that uh, in case of S3, you'll be able to see all the buckets in one place in the UI, which we are able to see. Now, what we are going to do next is we are setting up the bucket policy on this particular bucket, California 10 DEC in such a manner that a user from the other AWS account, a totally different AWS account would be able to access objects from this particular bucket. Yes, that is what we are doing. So first we came to the, uh, you know, in the account number one, as you can see, we came to California 10 DC bucket and we went to the permissions and we came to bucket policy and we have generated some permissions or basically policy and we have put it here. What we are doing here is let us go through this. What we have done is in first statement we are saying, that for the resource ARN AWS S3 California 10 DC, which is the bucket name, allow certain actions. What are those actions? S3 list bucket, right? And to whom you are allowing it? You are allowing it to a particular user. That user belongs to this particular account. This is the 12 digit account number of my, of my second account, which is this one. So if I go here, Okay, now, uh, so I have taken that and I've put it here and within that, I am allowing it to a particular IAM user, which is KI. Okay, in case if I want to allow it to the root user, I'll have to write after colon root. You can go ahead and read how to write this ARN for, for different IAM users. Uh, it is very simple, basically to understand the structure. I've talked about it earlier in the, in the IAM, um, uh, tutorial as well how to write ARN you can just google and learn how to write ARN for any particular resource within AWS it is a unique way to represent any resource within whole Amazon ecosystem so this is the first permission which you have given second permission is that we have given uh, that to allow uh, the action s3 get object basically to pull an object or to access an object is get object that we are allowing inside this bucket everywhere that's why we are putting california 10 dc slash star right and this also we have given to this particular user only which is user slash ki i have used aws policy generator to basically write uh, generate this policy as you can see and it is very simple to generate you have you can just choose here you can write the principle basically that for which user you are allowing you can write that for which service which action you can choose and then you can give the ARN of the resource name, basically of the bucket on which you want to give that permission. So you can give that here, say add statement, it is added below. At the last, when you press on this particular button, you get the whole policy. So you just take this and then you can put it here in the bucket policy, all right? So first we set this, once this is set, I've saved it. We can go to the objects and you can see it has this many objects, right? So in my account one, I have this many objects in this particular bucket. Now I go to account two and in the account two, you can see I have got only these four buckets. What I've done is I've created an, a user here called KI in my second account, right? Let me show you. And checking. So for this particular user, if you go ahead and check, I have given read only access and S3 full access. Now remember this, KI user is in the second account and in this account, he would be able to go ahead and, you know, do anything 
on S3, I have given S3 full access, but only on on these buckets. I have I cannot allow it to go and access somewhere else. Rather, if I want to allow from the account one on a particular S3 bucket, I will have to give it here, which I have given in the bucket policy, right? So now what we want to do next is we will go ahead and try to access these objects from the second account. So I have gone ahead and I have uh, done AWS configure before this and I have given the access key and secret key of the user KI already and the region is US East 1 default output format is JSON. Now let us go ahead and first try to list things S3 LS and we'll have to give the path of this particular uh, uh, let us go ahead and try to copy no it doesn't get copied no problem we'll type it right let's see so it is able to list all the objects in this particular bucket you can see that this bucket belongs to a different account but i'm able to do that great all right it's because permissions are given in order to uh, if you remember permissions are given in order to list the list the bucket list the contents of the bucket okay good now let us try to copy something so let's say i want to let me just pick it here slash one dot arf and i want to copy it in my bucket uh, let's take the name let's say i want to put it in ki artifacts okay so i'll put ki artifacts slash and before i run this i want to check whether there is any permission issue or it will go successfully so i'll i'll use a, a you know thing called dry run hyphen hyphen dry run if i put this it will not actually execute this command but rather it will just check whether all the necessary permissions are there in place so i put this uh, looks like this is a problem okay i'm sorry i gave ls and copy both <laughs> oh, okay now let's run this if there is an issue you'll get that so there's no problem it should work so we'll go ahead and we can remove this and we can just say enter and it should copy the file from a bucket which is there in account one to another bucket which is there in other account right so we'll just give it few seconds so it is doing the copy and you can so see that it is doing in like uh, multi-part way so when the file is big it will go ahead and basically try to divide it into different parts automatically and copy different parts and then, and then on the target it will again join it you don't have to worry s3 takes care of doing that so as it is done here let us go and check in our ki artifacts we have one dot arf and it is created just now you can also go ahead and try with once again for you know and let me show you something else i can if i want to copy everything there is a option called recursive let us just check if it will run now what recursive would do is it will try to copy everything which is inside this california 10 dc to inside you know to this particular location it will try to copy it all right great so it is saying that yes it will run so i'll go ahead and i'll just execute it and it will copy everything for me So in the meanwhile, as it happens, I want to summarize things for you guys. What we did was uh, we had two different AWS accounts and that is where bucket policies come in, come handy or come become very helpful when you want to give access to, to a user which is there in different AWS account, right? When you want to give access to that particular user, 
uh, you know then you can use bucket policy bucket policies are defined per bucket level so you will go to any particular s3 bucket and you will define a bucket policy there in in our case what we did was we went to this particular bucket california 10 dc and there we went ahead and gave permission to this another user called ki which is there in a different aws account for it to basically copy things right if i go ahead and try to delete something i'll not be able to do because i have only been given get object and after that we went to cli we just configured the keys for this particular user and we went ahead and you know just executed commands and it is all working so as you can see two is also copied let me go ahead and check here i'll just go refresh wow it is working great so we'll give it some time it will get completed uh, so you can go ahead and you know explore a lot more commands like this uh, in case of uh, cli uh, wherever possible i'll try to show you demos in this manner uh, guys it's very important that when you want to learn cli you can go ahead and refer the documentation the aws documentation is very very extensive for example if you look at this itself so here is the documentation for aws s3 cp command and you can see everything for all the options for recursive i used you can go ahead and read what recursive means right command is performed on all files or objects under the specified directory prefix so and there are examples also given so please go ahead and read the different commands uh, if you want you can go to the first level you can go to s3 and you'll be able to see that, that within s3 what all uh, commands are available right and then you can go ahead and you know further get inside and read all about all of the different commands it's very important that you go ahead and practice these commands then only you'll get the confidence i hope you understood what bucket policy means and how to use it uh, if you understood then go ahead and uh, press like for this video and also share it with your friends uh, we are bringing a lot more stuff i request you to subscribe to our blog the link for the blog is in the description below and please go ahead and share it with your friends. Thank you. Bye-bye. Keep learning.